Today, I welcome the host of the Robo Don't Know YouTube channel, everyone's favorite Saturday morning news anchor. Welcome to the Toy Tubers, Robo. Oh, I appreciate that. That's that's probably the best compliment that I get. <laughs> Saturday morning cartoons is such so near and dear, you know, and the and yeah. to be even compared to that in any capacity is always it blows my mind. It, it, and I hear it all the time. I mean, that's what everybody says. Like, this is my set. The the Robo Weekly Rewind is my Saturday morning cartoons of of adulthood kind of thing. I love it. And I, agree. I, I, I love that. And I love the, okay, I got my cereal ready or my, you know, yeah, eggs yeah. and bacon. I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. So, so how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. It is freezing. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I, my tolerance for cold weather has went way down as I've gotten older. Yeah. And this whole, and being in Arkansas, I'm not used to seven degrees or five degrees. Oof. And it's just, yeah, that is, but, ugh, I can't that get is warm cold for you guys down there. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we get it up here, like, even here in Boston, like seven degrees is really cold still, you know, and we'll get sub zero, but not, not that much. Um, yeah. And, and I hate to complain because I know there's people, you know, oh, <laughs> that's shorts weather, but here, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Mm, yeah. All right, so why don't you kick us off by introducing yourself? Tell us a little bit about your channel and uh, you know what you got going on. Oh, dang! Uh, I'm Robo. Uh, I essentially just make. I did this at a con one time, surrounded by other people. I was sitting beside somebody yep. that, that was explaining the psychology of Batman and his villains, and then it got to me, and I was just like, "I play with toys on the internet. That's <laughs> that's essentially what I do." You know, so I, I just try to keep up my YouTube channel and, and, uh, top toys as much as I possibly can. How did you, uh, how did you first get started with the camera, with the figures? Oh. Like what was, how did that kick off originally? When I was with Foosh, well, of course we, we, we were established as a website, you know, and, yeah. and that's, that's mainly it for <clears throat> was it 15 years, 14, somewhere in there. And then around 14 or 15, we decided, Hey, all these other guys are doing YouTube stuff. They've been doing it for years. We should do it too. And I was, I was low man on totem pole. So <laughs> I was, I was like, okay, I guess <laughs> I, I'll give it a shot. And it was terrible, but about I, what year, what year was that? Roughly, that was uh, 14, 2014. Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it was bad and I was nervous and yep. I, was, I was trying to hide the accent. I was so afraid to put myself out there on the internet because as a website, we had covered events before like Comic-Con and we'd go there and that was like my first treks out of this part of the country. So I'd be in San Diego and I didn't know I had an accent. Everyone else around here talked yeah, yeah. like that. So I'd get out there and I, a day in, I'd start hearing myself. So when I was putting myself on the internet, on video, on YouTube, I thought, oh, I better talk like this and be, I can't show any kind of, here is a toy. Duh, duh, duh. It was bad until, uh, I, I, it was a couple years in. And then I, I started, I, I, I don't know if I got old enough to realize, you know what, just do it. Just put yourself out there. It doesn't matter. And been having fun ever since. And initially, what were you doing? Toy reviews or Toy re I, other stuff? I think the very first video I shot and posted, well, I think we did like a live stream of some kind, or we've recorded ourselves and put it on and it was bad because I knew I was being filmed. It was my first time face on the internet, but my first review was Marvel Legends Nova. Uh, uh, yeah, comic book version from Danny. It was like a two minute video. I shot it with my phone, I think, which is not a bad thing. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I still shoot with my phone in certain spots, but yeah. Yeah. And then from there, I was like, well, I got to learn this. Let's do some editing. Let's get some better equipment. And it's just kind of built up from there. And I'm still learning. Mm. It's funny because 2014 was when I first really started getting into toys as an adult because <clears throat> up until that point I was 
my I, I was a big collector all my life, but for many years it was Magic the Gathering was was like my main thing. <clears throat> and then I became a dad in twenty fourteen and like being able to go out and play magic with my friends. Yeah. Um I, I couldn't do that anymore really. And so then I was like I was like, you know what, I, I'm gonna go back and in and, and collect um the old Star Wars Kenner figures and, and just to start just collecting something just to collect, you know, for me. And then I started getting into like looking online, how to, how to like clean up a, a dingy old collection that you bought at like a yard, not a yard sale, but you know, like somebody posted it on like Craigslist or whatever, that type of stuff. And then that just led me down the path of like, and right around then was black series was hitting. Oh, and yeah. that's probably about, and it's the reason why I'm telling you this is that's probably about when I first started watching some of your stuff, because I remember one of the ones I remember distinctly was the model kits because you were doing those right from the get go, like build invader and watching your video helped me figure out how the heck to do that. You know, especially to like, um, you know, get, I, th I, th I forget if you were doing water slides or stickers back then or what, but I, 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 I avoided water slides for the longest time because they look okay. so complicated, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but that, for some reason that was what kind of like, gave me the like okay you know what? a model kit isn't that scary i'll do that you know so that's that's kind of my first uh i guess uh memory of watching your channel so that's that's pretty early on yeah that was still green screen or green background days was a. Uh, I think darth vader was the first model kit and i can't remember it had to have been after i dove into sh figure arts too. well yeah probably as soon as yeah they did that i don't remember was it Jedi Luke or Maul that was first for SH Figure Arts. Yeah. And that was that was my first import figure and it was all yeah. whole new world. So <laughs> Yeah. And, and then the model kits, I'd never done model kits before at all. Well, okay. <laughs> Going back to 95, 96, 97 somewhere in there I put together a, a, a Star Wars ship and uh that was before Probably. I got back Probably. into figures. Yeah. But that was the only model I ever put together. For me, the only one was like in the eighties, like a car, like a old model kit car, you know, and it, like all the like glue and everything. And I just remember just failing miserably at that kind of thing. And that, that was the only like connection I had to it when I started seeing the Bandai kits and stuff. And then I, you know, yeah. I ended up doing some more, like some other, I did, I did an X-Wing. The one that I went all out on was, was a one, uh, 72nd scale X-Wing. Um, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of fun, but it's, it's just very time consuming to, to weather it and like do all the, all the stuff. It is. I, I, I did those reviews off the bat and then, you know, it's like, oh, if I mess up, I'll film this. And I ended up filming a lot of the build too, that I would have to edit through. And right. It'd take two, three, four hours to put it together and then yep. getting into the editing process. And I hadn't streamlined the process at that time. So I would almost dread doing it, but I also like to put them together. So it, it kind of canceled yeah. each other out. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. I, I have, you know, in the past considered trying to document it, a, a build or a custom or something in that way, but it always ends up being, it kind of takes away a little bit for me of like the fun of building something like, and mm -hmm. just like, like losing yourself in it instead of like having this like outer view of it too. Um, right. But uh, so you're it. talking, what's that? Plus how to film it. You're wrapping your arms right. around a camera anyway, and you're looking at these right, tiny yeah. parts and yeah. I know. Yeah. I mean, just, just doing reviews. That's, that's a thing. It's like, it, hunched over and your shoulders hurt because your reviews taken forever, but it's almost a second nature now. Right. I mean, at first it was awkward, yeah. but it, it's almost, I, I don't even pay attention to the camera hardly anymore, except, right. you know, where to center up and go. And that's kind of out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Like the whole process of it, I, but I do still get a little like when I'm, when I'm reaching forward like this, for a long time, just the nature of my shoulders, it just gets like sore. So usually like if I'd have a long review, that's a very like involved thing. Like by the end of it, my, my shoulders sore a little bit. <laughs> do, you, do you sit down and review? 
I do. Okay. You stand up. I, I ended up have, at just putting cinder blocks under my desk to get it up to standing level. And I haven't had oh, that really? problem since. Oh, I should do that. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I'm t- like, I, you know, l- why don't you talk a little bit about streamlining? Like that's like a streamlining kind of thing is getting standing up so you can be more comfortable. Like what other things have you done over the years that have like, that have like changed it for you. you oh, it, and it, it's hard to pinpoint because it's so, you know, it, it's kind of a, it was <clears throat> kind of a natural process. I'd, I'd be like, I hate this part of it. And then change the lighting or, or yeah. reduce the lighting. There was, I got to a point where there was too much lights and right. I was fighting that. So I backed off it and then getting the shop out here was the biggie where I could just go from opening or to from customizing to desk to to the spin part over there but yeah yeah the the biggie for me was oh man <laughs> that's a hard question uh learning the editing software was a big one of what it could do and all my shortcuts and everything that davinci Re- resolve is the editing program i use is that a, is that something that's a subscription or is that like a one purchase type thing? The reason I got it was a one purchase type thing, but the free version, there's very few things like the most powerful things are on the paid version. The free version is completely usable. I mean, you could make videos all day with a free version of that program. <laughs> But the paid version is that a one-time payment, or is that yeah. like a, is that like a subscription? Oh, one-time yep, payment. I paid for it three, four years ago, and I still get updates. They just send nice. them along, and I, yeah, it's awesome. You do have to have a dongle or or a plug for you can only use it on one computer. Right. At least that's the version I went to, so I could come out to the laptop or go inside to the computer or something like that. Yeah. So you have it installed on a on an outside disc and then you run it from there. Is that what you're saying? No, it's a, it's a USB plug that well, just, yeah, a, yeah. that just lets your computer, I let it lets the program know that your computer is registered with. Oh, computer. I see. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I still use iMovie. <laughs> That's all I've ever used. And like, it's very limited. Like it, it's just, things that I would like to do that I just, I, I can't do it. Or the workaround is, is crazy or something. <laughs> yeah. Like putting two, putting two images on the screen at the same time mm-hmm. is not possible unless you create a, like a PNG image that has them both there. And that's how I end up doing a lot of my videos. Really? I have that sort of thing in, in iMovie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't even dive into all of the capabilities of that program until a couple of years in. I'm I'm a very slow learner. <laughs> I, I'll run with something for a year or two and then be like, yeah. oh, you can do this too? Or there's an easier way to do this? And then finally dive into that part of it. Let's see, over the years, what, what has surprised you? Like, what are some surprises or a thing that has surprised you the most about, about running a YouTube channel? That, uh, <laughs> that, uh, subscribers, su- subscriber count doesn't mean view count <laughs> is one of the things back, yeah. back when I first started, I thought, man, got to get subscribers so I can get views, you know, but it, that that's not, that's not the case. You could have tons of subscribers and you'll post a video and it's be like, go video. <laughs> and it, it won't go. But, mm. uh, I, I'm so, su- I'm surprised too about now every now and then. And I talk about this a lot with a lot of people about you always hear YouTube is like the most negative place out of all the places you could be posting mm-hmm. and everything. <laughs> But I, I was surprised by how many positive comments on videos. Yeah. Of course, there's negative ones every now and then. And you focus right. on that one <laughs> yeah. out of out of 200, yeah. you'll get three or four. And those three or four just <sighs> bang around in your head for a while. But mm-hmm. 
for the majority, it's it's a very positive experience, and I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, I, I, I guess at times I, I come out swinging, you know? It's like, what do you mean by that? And then I realize, oh, wait, no, they're just asking a question or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, I think a lot of people, uh, I, I get the same thing where it's like, is this person being a jerk or do they just not know how to word something? Yeah that's polite especially, you know especially especially if like three comments ago it was somebody just being i hate this or i, I hate you or you yeah. talk funny or something I, I don't know and then i'll get to that one and it's like worded weird and and sometimes yeah. i will be like hey da, 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 and they were just like hey i was just asking you this or you know <laughs> i didn't oh that's my fault <laughs> and i'm i'm the first to admit it you know that's my fault i apologize yeah. but yeah, yeah. I, I try to put those, the those are usually th that kind of interaction where like I misunderstand somebody and I react in a certain way. And then it, usually those end up being people who um, I have longer conversations with and end up chatting with them a little bit more. And it becomes like a little thread <laughs> in, yeah. the, in the comments, you know, because um, once you make that connection, it's it's nice. Yeah, it is. And and that's I've gotten kind of back to basics since, you know, I've left one channel and started another or started building the other is that mm -hmm. it, it it's mostly the people, the, the mainstays, the, the positive comments, I've just moved over to there and kind of left a lot of the negativity that you get when you have that many subscribers, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's a nice little community right now. And yeah. I say right now, hopefully it'll grow larger, but you know, if it doesn't, then I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm not, it's right. like it's rocking along. Right. Yeah. And then w when it does eventually get bigger, it's just going to, you're going to have less of that intimacy and you're going to have more, yeah. you know, just yeah. random, you know, those random comments that are, they're sometimes off putting. <laughs> <laughs> That's just drive bys is what <laughs> it's. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You've never seen this name before. They found your video somehow and they just, they're just compelled to, Hey, you're a grown man playing with toys. <laughs> Click, get out of, get out of my space. Mine's always like, I sound like someone. Everybody yeah. thinks I always sound like someone The the most popular one is, um, Oh, what's his name? Shit. Um, Oh my God. The kid from Super Bad, the fat kid from Super Bad, Jonah Hill. <laughs> Jonah Hill. Jo jo Jonah Hill is the one that, like, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Like, a, at least, you know, a couple times a year, somebody chimes in and is like, "You sound like Jonah Hill." <laughs> and the most recent one, this, this one, I and I kind of get the Jonah Hill thing. We both have a nasally voice, right? And the next one was, um, the most recent one was. Uh, was the son from Family Guy, Chris, Chris Griffin from Family yeah. Guy? Yeah, <laughs> like, What the hell? Can Only I, I because do? of the no, I don't think so. I'm, a lot of those they'll pick up on one little thing, and then yeah, suddenly it's oh, that's everything. Yeah. When I first started, I would get, and this isn't me. <laughs> it's I would get. Hey, you look like uh, I just had his name, Bane. Uh, Tom Hardy. Oh, Tom Hardy. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, no. And I, now that I say that out loud, I haven't got that comment in a while. So I know I'm getting old. That's <laughs> <laughs> people look at me now. And it's like, Oh, it's that old guy. You don't look like anything like Tom Hardy. Could be a little yeah. voice similarity there too. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It, <clears throat> it's better than a, uh, who was better, who, better who, than who, Chris Griffin? <laughs> no, <laughs> just a slight nasal, you know. Yeah, but if people are going out of their way to say stuff like that, that means they're in they're engaged in some way. Yeah, that's true. Somehow. <clears throat> so you mentioned um, moving from the foosh and and focusing now solely on your. Um, Robo don't know channel. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about that transition a little bit? Like, like what's, what's going on there? How's, how's that transition going? That's uh, it, it's, it's almost like a return to 
basics, you know, it's, it's starting from the ground up again. Well, oh, it was, it's not, it wasn't ground level. I'd been live streaming on that for a couple of years, <clears throat> just, yeah. just live streams. And, uh, I, I had I, a, a few followers there, but getting to, uh, just focus on videos, just focus on without the outside. Cause you know, the toy manufacturing, the website, this socials, everything, it, it was just kind of, <laughs> like I said, in 14, I was almost what I have to make videos. I don't want to do that now. <laughs> In 2020, or well, the end of 2023, I guess that's all I want to do. So, right, I, th I thought, you know what, I'm at a, I'm at a point where I can do this. Well, of course, <laughs> as soon as I do this, I see uh, all these videos pop up on my feed. Why are all the YouTubers quitting? <laughs> they're 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 getting off the platform. So, <laughs> perfect timing. But yeah. I figured it was new year, new time. And usually I like that kind of thing starting from, from the beginning, building it up. So mm. I don't know. It was, it, it seemed, it seemed like the right move and, and being a toy collector, being in the toy community for so long, it's, it's, you know, man, I would love to make my own, my own toys, you know, and this and that, but I, I'm not made for it. I just, I can't, I, 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 the decision-making, the back and forth with, it, it's just, I, I just want to talk about toys. <laughs> so plus it, it, it felt like a, it started to feel like a, a conflict of interest. Maybe I would talk about other companies, action figures and, review their toys and you know hey this is taking a super long time to get out and stuff and then it there was delays on articulated icons or the skeletons mm -hmm. or this <laughs> and and so i thought you know it, it i didn't want to play in both fields at the same time I, right I just pick one focus on it it's a lot less convoluted in my head yeah, I mean, I, I I can't imagine trying. I mean, it's just more um, factors to put into the equation of of your day to day. Yeah. What what like how how involved were you with the the whole, um, you know, the whole toy making side of it? Now I'd 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 uh, step I'd step back a lot, for the most part, from it. Because one, you don't want too many chefs in the kitchen, you know, that just right, leads to right. de even more delays and indecision mm -hmm. and everything else. And two, you know, finished product. <laughs> it's, it's playing with toys, looking at the final outputs and everything. And I don't know. It's not, I'd stepped away so much that it, uh, it was almost hard to even talk about it because it'd be like, Oh, we're doing that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. So, but yeah, I was trying to focus. Well, it, that was mostly my was taking care of the website, the forums, trying to get that up, which, summer of last year, the forums crashed. So I spent a couple months trying to figure out an alternative to that where it wouldn't be so involved and hands-on. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> just things like that. So that consumed some time that I'd much rather be making videos and stuff. Yeah. Um, or, or, I know or you, you started a, a discord recently. Yes. I feel like that's to me, um, I don't, I mean, even five, six years ago, I, I don't even know how long now I've been on discord for a long time. And to me, that's the forums. It's a bit disorganized and it's not as nice and focused and I guess as robust sometimes as, as a main forum, like the foosh 
mm-hmm. forums. Um, but it, you know, it's it's got the potential to be that. You know, like there's a couple bigger toy ones that that are that can be like that. I'm I'm still learning process of that. I had started one four foosh years ago and uh I couldn't focus on it. Couldn't be in there every day, you know, couldn't right. <clears throat> curate or anything. But now that I've now that I've started a new one and people make suggestions of, you know, how about this room or this room? And I'm like, this is essentially chat forms. If, if you know, if you break it down to customs and news and Mm-hmm. links and the rewind and everything it but it goes i've noticed that it goes it can it can get away from you <laughs> i'll click on there sometimes it's like 50 plus messages i'm like yeah. oh no scroll 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 i gotta find <laughs> did anybody say anything is anybody fighting yeah. what's going on uh, yeah. <laughs> people need to reply more that's that's one of the, the the best things that that and you know that's something from forums too but like um you know when somebody replies to a comment rather than just commenting after a comment you can click on the the original one that's like kind of small and above it and yeah. that'll take you right back up like that's one thing that i think more people should do in and it, it sucks cuz it does ping the other person <laughs> right like if they yeah. have that turned on but <laughs> Um, it's nice as a reader of a page that you don't spend the entire day reading, <laughs> um, yeah. to be able to like click back on those <clears throat> that are tagging on people. And my phone goes, Hey, somebody yep. said something. I was like, Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. That's and there's a whole etiquette. There's like a, there's like a whole etiquette. Oh, to, don't tell me that <laughs> to, to discord. Like, you know, uh, like at everyone's people get really they get really up in arms when uh really <laughs> when people use at everyone's um and it's not something that's like super important or like immediate and in and, and, and yeah that's hmm. yeah that's always been kind of so a scary you, use them sparingly <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone good morning hey everyone good morning i hey, hope you have a great day what, today <laughs> what's everybody having for dinner <laughs> oh no okay food is a uh food is a um rabbit hole for you huh on your on your live streams i don't know how that started i mean that's always been kind of a thing it's almost like the backup if we run out of stuff to talk about what kind of pop tarts do we like what kind of (laughs) what kind of zingers what kind of candy it's it's a never-ending discussion that we can always fall back on yeah yeah, we uh, we t- it, it, usually we don't get this too much, but if it happens, it's usually music related with us. It's like, you know, just just reminiscing about old old music um, that kind of happens on our channel sometimes, and it's like to the point where I've thought about doing just like an, a whole episode where we just like talk about music. I think I might do that sometime. I'm getting to where I can't remember names and bands. In fact. Because music, well, okay, Backwoods, Arkansas in the 80s, it was kind of just whatever came on the radio, you know? It was, yep. And then in the early 90s, of course, it was grunge and everything. But now that I have Sirius and my car is telling me who sang what song, I'll look down, I'll like, I like this song, and I'll look down and I have no clue who the band is. <laughs> I think, yep. how did, I, I never knew that. So yeah. when it comes to music, I have to hear the tune or I, I don't know what's going on. That happens to me with classic rock a lot where I'm like, they did that song. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, it's like, Whoa, I, that is, I thought that was the Beatles or something, you know? And, and plus, if you go back to the nineties, they were throwing everything at the wall. I mean, yeah. <laughs> every song was a different band unless they hit hard and yeah. you never know. Yeah. There was, there was a, uh, yeah, there was, there's also a lot of a lot of cookie cutting when it came to grunge music for a while mm-hmm. there. <laughs> oh, those guys got big. Sign them all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so talk a little bit about, you know, you, you talked about the transition. Um, what are some of the 
I don't know. I don't want to say goals, but what are some of the ideas you have going forward for, for your channel? you I, I remember you talked a little bit, maybe back in December about not necessarily always talking toys, but like, you know, other possible ideas or, or leaving it open at least for other things. Well, actually the, the music, the music thing, maybe movies, but it would be talking about eighties and nineties stuff, you know, but at the same time, that's what we're talking about toys yeah. most of the time. Right. I mean, <laughs> or stuff that originated in the seventies, eighties, nineties. Yeah. So it's, it's just a circle most of the time, but a lot of it, uh, one I'm still is growing as such a, I'm still learning different techniques for filming, especially since I have the new space and everything. So I want to, I want to continue I, I, one to figure out different ways to do reviews because I mean, if, if you rock along for several years doing the same thing, it's kind of like it's, I get bored with my own stuff yeah. <laughs> and it's like, man, how can I change this up to spice it up for me as well as whoever's watching? And if I spice it up too much, will people just be like, nah, we're used, we're used to a certain way of doing this. You do it this way. <laughs> so I don't know. I'd gradually bring other things in, uh, change things up, shorten some things, lengthen some things. I'm, I'm still going to be talking toys because yeah, that's, that's the main thing. But th there was always a, a buddy of mine that I, before shutdown, would help him out at cons and everything. He was always... I'd always be like, well, especially towards 2019, I'd be like, I can't do this. You know, I need to do the weekly. I need to work on video and stuff. He was like, why don't you just shoot at cons or something? What Like a travel <laughs> vlog type thing. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, that may be a possibility now that, you know, go running on the road for a little bit or something. Mm -hmm. Or, or maybe I'll just watch Godzilla movies <laughs> since that's a, that's, I, I was never interested in Godzilla until the new ones, which I know some yeah. people will be like, Ooh, what? I, that, that I don't have a background in Godzilla. It seems like some people are like, no, you have to watch all of them all the way back to 1805. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't do that. You know? Yeah. So maybe I'll just react to Godzilla movies or, <laughs> whatever else comes out now. Yeah. <clears throat> I did I hear they're, they're doing another planet of the apes too. Um, yeah. I don't know why that connects me to that, but it's like, you know, it's like a franchise that has a lot of like old, old movies, like in that middle range that are kind of, yeah. You know? Yeah. Have, have you seen the old ones? I mean, I've only seen clips. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, yeah. I mean, well, the first, the first original planet of the apes is a ma It's an all time masterpiece. It's, it is with Charlton Heston. That one is just absolutely incredible. I I'm, I'm a teacher and I, when I had t taught a science fiction, fantasy horror class, you know, th that's a lot of a range. Mm -hmm. And I only had so many science fiction movies I could bring in to show. And that, that was one of the like three, um, that I, that I use. It was just, it's such a good movie. Um, and it, it, it does, it really holds up. Um, but then you, when you get into the sequels of that over time, you know, they're, they're okay. They're entertaining, but it's like, yeah. Trying to go back to it is, can, can, can be a, a, a tough, but you know, the, the trilogy from 10 years ago or what have you, I, I think is also phenomenal. And I guess the next one follows from that, I think. Is it, is it kind of, does it go into the future of, of that time? Yeah, run? I think it's still, yeah, I think it's still going forward in time. Yeah, I believe. Like past Caesar and everything. I mean. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not sure if I saw the, well, I'm sure I, maybe I did. I've seen the first one many times of those, of the newer mm -hmm. movies. I don't think you can be truly that's a trilogy that's that's worth a, a watch like it's worth a like dedicated watch it's it is it is a really good series yeah. of movies yeah my son loves those too i'm you know i don't think you can beat the Wahlberg one so that's uh tim burton right 
I, I don't remember. Is that early? Yeah, I think so. Early 2000? I, I'm, I believe I've seen the original ones on TBS back in the day, whenever they used mm-hmm. to show them. But it's been a long, long time. Talk about your Patreon a little bit. Oh, Patreon. I, I, that's another thing. It, it's uh, it's essentially early access to the videos, but I've also been trying to, I try to post daily on there, kind of behind the scenes, maybe some experimenting, uh, some, hey, what do you all think about this thumbnail or mm-hmm. this design or something? I, I try to make it special somehow, you know, and I'm, and, and that's kind of, an evolving thing because I, I want some stuff to be exclusive to there to make it worth right. uh, people's while, you know? I mean, yeah, I, I don't want them to feel like they're, they're just throwing money into the ether. So I, I try to, or, or, or even make a comment, some kind of post or something. Hey, it's freezing or <laughs> that's, <laughs> I, video's not happening today because this week I was the, the heater couldn't keep up with that temperature so mm-hmm. I was out here trying to record that new Marvel Legends wave with a heat gun hitting the figures so I could right. move them around and heat, warming my hands up <laughs> and I was like oh, oh can't do it and so I pose that that's not happening and stuff but I, I'd like to make it have it more exclusive stuff but I'm trying to figure out what to do with that, you know? Yeah. So we'll see. I, maybe timelines or I, I try to give a sneak peek of the rewind weekly or the video that's going up or mm-hmm. just, just, just little extra special stuff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I do. Um, I do memberships on YouTube and I, I'm, I'm always, tempted to go over to Patreon instead, Mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm intimidated by that same thing where it's like, I don't know if I can provide enough that it's going to make people feel like it's worth their money kind of thing, you know? Now, how is the membership thing on YouTube? I've done, I've been been nervous to jump in it because I don't want it to be two outlet, you know, separate places. Yeah. I mean, so, so the membership, it's like, Um, you know, the the nice thing is that it's pretty well incorporated into live streams. So they're getting some value just, just by pay. So I just do a dollar. That's the only option It's just a dollar a month. Mm -hmm. And then they get like different, um, like little emojis and things like that in the live stream. And then you can do similar thing where I'll, I'll post, I'll I'll post a video early for the members. Um, or I will post a, a shot you know, a kit bash or something that I'll, I'll, I'll post it just to there or a certain photograph or something, or maybe a poll or, you know, like just things that are, so you can, you can, you know, how you have like the community tab and then you can do posts. Mm -hmm. You can do, you can set your posts. Like if you want one to just go only to members or only to a certain tier of membership and, you know, so it, you know, it's good. I, I would say there's nothing really much that it offers, like I, I would think to me that Patreon is like a better option because you're like, yes, like you're getting a higher percentage of the money that they pay, but mm-hmm. like your your members are are can also kind of like feel better about the fact that more of their money is going to the creator and not to YouTube or to pay patreon you know what i mean to to the business side of it um and then i mean it's it's pretty well integrated it seems from i mean i i joined yours pretty recently it probably seems like i joined yours just to be able to contact you to get you to be on this but (laughs) it's actually the opposite which is i joined it to support you in your new endeavors moving off from foosh and then that kind of gave me the you know Gave me the kick to say, "Hey, let me let me get back in touch with Robo um, to try to get you on here." But yeah, yeah, <laughs> you 
<laughs> you didn't want it to come off as I bribed me into this. Right. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I didn't take it, but um, I appreciate it. And yeah, so, so, uh, yeah, I just, I think, I, I, de- I think, I think Patreon is more ideal. Um, but, but the YouTube memberships is a little more streamlined with YouTube. Um, and I feel like you, you don't have to do as much exclusive stuff because there's exclusive stuff built in with like, you know, you, you start it and then they have these special emojis and these, you know, these things in the chat that the other people don't have. Like, it's just kind of like inherently built in there. Right. Um, Cause I, I, well, I guess I have noticed that you, there's an option to schedule to go from members only to public videos that's new that's actually is it? that's yeah that is pretty new so before you know you could schedule it to to do to be a to just go lot you know to just be published or you could you could schedule it to start as a premiere now you can have it published just to the members and then it's you you set a time when it's going to go live to everybody else kind of thing see that would be awesome because right now pate on doing it early on Patreon, I'm uploading that video, keeping it unlisted, I think. Yeah. And then posting the link and embedding it in Patreon. But then the next day I have to go in at nine four, you know, that, cause I schedule everything for 10 AM. I have to go in yeah. at nine 45, change those settings, right. schedule it for <laughs> 15 minutes. And when I do that, it takes it off Patreon. It, right, you can't, right, right. So there's a little can't, gap of time. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I wish there was a better way to do this because Patreon has an upload function too, but I don't like their player. I, that it 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 yeah. comes up on the phone and then it sticks. I and it, plus right. they have a certain amount of time or a, a certain amount of space, so I'm still playing with options there. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice if YouTube had an option to have it set to unlisted, and then you have. You know, just like if they're doing with the members, where then then you have it um, go to public, yeah, at a certain time. But yeah, that's not an option because because they know that you're li- that if you're doing that, you're posting it elsewhere. But they still get the views. Right. So what's that matter? I mean, yeah, because because right now, uh, my dad called me, and he is the so he is so tech unsavvy. You know, mm-hmm. he calls me when his computer won't. St- you know, <laughs> it's like hey, and I'm like restart it. <laughs> And you restart it <laughs> and then it's good to go. But he noticed the lag on YouTube on the, on the, the, the pages themselves, the video, it wasn't buffering. It wasn't doing any of that, but that's their new, uh, ad block blocker. Oh, that, interesting. Yeah. Cause I was, no, I noticed it too. And when I took my ad block off, it was like, Oh, look at this. It runs fine. So yeah, I, yeah. I encourage everyone to do YouTube premium. Uh, like uh, as viewers it, it's i've been on that for years it's it's awesome um like it not only does it cut out all of the ads but it gives you the ability to turn your screen off like you're listening on your phone right mm-hmm. you're watching on your phone and you you know you're, you want to still listen maybe it's a live stream or something you just want to still listen and turn your screen off usually if you don't have a membership if, if you don't have a premium it stops playing when you turn your screen off on your phone Mm-hmm. But with premium, it stays playing. So that's one thing. And then another thing is it gives you access to the entire Google Music library. You know, what formerly was the Google Music library, it's now YouTube Music or YouTube Premium Music or something like that. But, it, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's like a Spotify. It's like a paid Spotify thing with like the entire library of, of everything. <laughs> so it's, I, mean, I mean, it's a great value for eight bucks or whatever. Yeah, I may have to look into that. Because now that I say it out loud, you know, ads on YouTube, it's kind of like, oh, maybe I should be watching ads too. <laughs> so, but, but man, do they hit you with the ads? Yeah, yeah, I feel bad sometimes that I have <laughs> that I have it enabled. But I know that at one point it switched to where they'll show ads on some videos that aren't monetized. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you got for uh, for goals, plans going forward to kind of kind of wrap this one up? My goal is to talk about toys as much as possible for as long as I can on the internet, <laughs> on YouTube, because, 
because it's already went further than I ever expected. Yeah. It's, it's like when I started, I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do this once a week. I'm going to, you know, go on, go to work, everything else. And then it, it exceeded expectations. And, and, uh, that's just for me getting more comfortable doing this on a mm-hmm. weekly basis. I, I don't know what I would do if I couldn't jump in front of the camera and, and let some of this out every week, you know, even if it's yeah. me doing it to the camera and then going in and editing out all the silly parts or the, the stutters or the breathing or me standing here going, what am I going to say about this? <laughs> oh, yo. Cut that out. Start here. Let's do that. But uh, I don't know. It's cathartic. It's it's full circle again, going back to my childhood. Because because before this, I was the, and you can ask anybody that's been to a con with me. I was the shy, timid guy that didn't want to talk to mm. company people or or anybody. The rock stars of our communities, you know, mm-hmm. and, uh, I don't know if that came with age or just doing this for a few years, but I, I, yeah, I'm thankful for everything that's happened so far, but I, I only hope that it can go higher. Do you think I, I try not to is... plan because I, I like to be surprised. I sometimes wonder if some of that relaxation or that relaxing effect is like because you're so uh busy sometimes sometimes like if if i'm like just so busy and i'm doing all these things and and it's like i don't have time to put my mind on this anxiety about interviewing or you know what i mean like it's like it's it kind of that stuff goes to the back and you know just kind of getting done what you need to do tends to be the thing you know Um, I'm a big fan of spontaneity. When I first, I I think my first live stream was with Dan Larson. And then shortly followed by Wade somewhere in there, it may have been backwards or the other way or something, but I would, I would get so angst ridden trying to, what are we going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? Am I going to, am I just going to, am I going to, am I not going to be interesting? ah, ah, ah. And <laughs> after a few months, I just realized, you know, I'd rather not think about it and just go in cold. Don't, don't plan anything. And that's especially, that's some of the funnest live streams I've been on is just go in and, mm-hmm. Hey, here's the mm-hmm. chat. Here's us. Let's yeah. do this. So yeah, the chat, the chat is great for that. It's just, it's just an endless source oh, man. of conversation <laughs> it is i mean I, there was i mean there's been a few times that i just get on by myself and just like hey <laughs> let's yeah what are we talking about today and yeah. and it, it, it's the same for videos now i pre- i prepare the rewind the weekly you know i have a list i have some notes if during the week i come up with a joke or two it's like or a gag or something it's like mm-hmm. oh okay i better write that down because i'm gonna forget that stuff I forget in a couple of days, but when it comes to reviews, I just like putting the figure down, turning on the camera and then going. Yeah. So. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. I'm, I, 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 I'm not used like we talked about earlier. I'm not used to this kind of format of just, Hey, what's happening? (laughs) What's going on? So I, I may seem flighty, but. It's, yeah, yeah. I like talking. 